All right, so if you guys are looking to upgrade um, the speedometer lights behind it to LED, I can show you right here, boom. We got full LEDs in there. And put it back in the spot. All right, so for your MR2s, uh, the SW20 specifically, there seems to be about five bulbs that you can replace using the good old, I believe this is 115, yeah, right there, the marine lights. I don't know the exact um, number for the socket, but, you know, it's like the one that I use for everything, for like the dome lights. I'm pretty sure these are going to fit over here too. I'll, I'm going to check them out after this. Um, but yeah, basically this little a yellow light right here for the low fuel can be converted using this bulb. The one right here has two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, actually. It might be seven. I'll have to double check. And, uh, yeah, so basically what you got to do, uh, you got to take this middle dash part out, which was pretty simple. There were just two screws right here and right here under this with the ashtray attached. And that pops out there was one more right in that hole right there mine for some reason didn't have it i'm guessing it's in the the front trunk there's like a little suitcase <laughs> kind of thing full of screws a couple of them and then this whole part comes off right here Oof. boom you gotta unplug this one right here for the sig that one for the flashers and can go to the side also to take this off you gotta kind of just pick this one off of the socket it's in and then this part under it just clips off it's nothing there's no screws to that so then you pop this one down obviously in that process pop it down on this side too there is one screw right here that goes in and connects to oops this piece right here Connects right there. You can clearly see that one. And this pops out again, just like with a couple clips. And then you'll have access to all these. So there's one right here, one right there, one right there, and one more up there. After that, there's another clip right up here, kind of piece that goes there. I have it down there somewhere. That you just got to pry it off from one side, and then it comes off. So all just clips then you finally have access to the actual speedo um it just pops right out Ooh. i don't want to let me show you the back side okay so under it there's a bunch of ribbon cables looks like um i don't want to unplug them just in case like it messes something up i just don't want to have any more issues so i'm leaving them it's not too hard you just got to hold it with one finger or have it lean right here under the steering wheel and it kind of hangs out you can adjust it too to hold it but essentially all the big ones so you can see let me get this in here oh god yeah right here this one right here oops not the... <clears throat> yeah this one right here is one of them two now there's a bunch of them five right here you can see these small ones right here all those those are for like the warning lights. Um, I didn't know that there are different size from just my basic research on Google. So those are still going to be the old filament style. But honestly, I don't think it really matters because if they're on, then you should fix the issue and then they'll turn off. So <laughs> there's that. But the other ones obviously stay on forever. So it's worth changing those out. But there's one, two. And then let me flip it over. Give me a sec. Um, there we go. Perfect. So there's one right there, two, you can see those two. Then we got one right here in the middle, one right there. And there's two small ones right there uh, in front of the white part. That's the turn signal one, which is also the small one, so I can't replace that. Well, other one is obviously another turn signal. And then we got one more right there to the left of that black square. I can maybe show it from here. Yeah, this one right here. And I believe that was it. That covers the entire dash. Obviously, there's some more of these small ones right here. 
for you know all the check engine light and all that stuff but like i said if those are on fix them then i'll turn off and yes i believe that was it put it back and now boom it looks gorgeous you can obviously use this knob right here to lower the brightness so boom that's yeah, pretty damn camera is really kind of showing let me lower this there you go so that was really dim and then brightens up all the way refocus boom we're back um they have this blue hue which is actually hilarious because back in the day they didn't have leds so they put this focus baby there we go <laughs> they literally put this blue film on the filaments so that it kind of gets white or bluish kind of tint i think they're trying to go for white to be honest but yeah that's funny so all of them are just sitting right there and then you just kind of reverse the process and you're all good to go yeah those ones it's fine it doesn't really matter you're not gonna have them on for too long anyways it's not gonna drain too much and yeah just do everything in reverse and you'll have fully led dash it definitely has like a blue hue though purplish blue looks cool